And do you have anything this evening? I do not. I don't have anything this, in, uh, this evening. So we're into new business. The first is a consideration for a work authorization between Integrated Science and Engineering and the City of Noonan for professional engineering services for sidewalk improvements along Sprayberry Road. Uh, Mr. Clark, you have this this evening. It's, it's fairly straightforward. Are there any questions from anyone on council, Mr. Clark? I have one question. Sure. You know, we, we had some concerns uh, along that. Is this Sprayberry Road or is this uh, Sprayberry okay. Road? Yes, sir. We've, we've separated Sprayberry Road from the Jackson Street okay. uh, funding-wise. So this is Sprayberry okay. Road alone. I understand. Yes, sir. I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Is there a motion? So moved. Motion to second. Second. Authorized as presented. Any discussion? All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Close like sign. Motion carried. Thank you, sir. Mr. Moody, you're up with internal requests for funding under the ARPA. How are you, sir? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you, Mayor and Council, for seeing me again tonight. Uh, we got a quite lengthy list uh, for the internal applications, um, but as you can see, the first application is from the Planning and Zoning Department, partnering with NURA and the Housing Authority. Um, this application is for affordable housing. Uh, NURA will construct seven affordable homes along Murray Street. Uh, the planning department will handle the administration of the grant funds and the housing authority will manage the project as its own, uh, collecting rent uh, and managing the properties. Uh, project income will be used to construct more affordable homes on other city-owned lots as well. Okay. Questions? I, I have a quick question for you. Yes. Uh, the planning department being involved with the primary handling of the administration reporting of the grants. Is that in their wheelhouse? Is that, uh, are they best suited to do that? Uh, excuse me. Yes, Councilman Carrico. Um, as you may recall, you know, our planning department routinely manages our CDBG projects as well as the CHIP, the housing project, so I, as well as our neighborhood stabilization program. So yes, I believe they have the talent within the department to manage. Thank you. Any other questions? Yes. Is there uh, any limits as to when this will begin and when it will end, or is it just forever? For the project specifically? Yes. Uh, Sandra, do you want to attest to the timeline on the project? It is a Ms. Strozier, I'm the sorry. If you'll come to this. Uh, and, and introduce yourself for the record, please. Thank you, ma'am. I am sorry, I did not come here to speak. My name is Sandra Strozier. I'm the president and CEO of the Housing Authority of Newton. Thank you. Uh, it will be a revolving fund, similar to the NSP funds that we, uh, we're using right now. The funds will, will build the homes, sell the homes, and then we will uh, look to buy or build additional homes in the community. So the length of time to start the first one and complete it? I believe no, it's hard to do with today's construction. Yeah, I think it was put two years. I believe she had put in there the initial construction. The initial. Initial. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I think it's important that we yeah, make sure. one clarification. Uh, obviously, this this is a program of NURA. Obviously, Mr. Strozier has acted as a staff liaison, and you will see in the application though that we are using their expertise when it comes to the admin and the management, even though it is a construction program that's managed by NURA, uh, the title will be in NURA's name. Uh, it's just they have that expertise when it comes to, to managing, you know, identifying the, the tenants, collecting the rents, managing the properties, et cetera. So. Okay. Just for clarification, these are for the, to the housing authority to own and rent? No, sir. They would be yeah. owned by the Newton Urban Redevelopment Agency. And then rented from NURA? For a time. Yeah. Rent to own. Rent to own for a time. Okay. Because I'm just looking at the cost because for affordable housing and saying each home $250,000. That's uh, correct. Okay. Yeah. And NURA stands for what? Newton, Newton Urban, Urban Redevelopment Urban. Agency. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Any other questions on this? 
Is there a motion on this one? So moved. Second. Motion to second. We approve the first request. Any discussion? All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Those like sign. The uh, second application is through the Public Works Department. This is for a culvert rehab and rehabilitation program. Uh, Mr. Ray has identified potential seven culverts that can be serviced by this. Uh, that will be the Noonan Crossing culvert, uh, the one at Savannah and Pinson, East Broad at the substation, Dixon Street below Willow Drive, Sprayberry Road near McBride Street, 38 the Boulevard and Avery Park below Old Atlanta Highway, and near Fairhaven. Any questions on this? Yes. I've got a question. Uh, Mr. Phillips, we talked about uh, the one culvert that I've been asking about. Is this the one that? With the the original, um, Cusman Alexander is referring to the culvert that is found at the intersection of Henson and Savannah Street. Uh, you may recall when we were actually, we made actual CDBG application for that community and that was going to be one of the infrastructure projects identified, but unfortunately we were denied that particular, uh, particular right. application. Right. Uh, when Mr. Norton put together this initial list of culverts, it did not include that particular culvert. Right. And Mr. Norton's request was for $6.1 million. Um, it would be my recommendation if you want to add that particular culvert, which would be the seventh one, I would recommend that you, you raise that price by an additional $750,000 so that we have the, the funds available to cover that particular culvert. I'd like to do that amendment, Mayor, if we could. Uh, is that a motion or something you'd just like to do? <laughs> That's a motion to make the amendment for number seven, culvert. We have a motion to second to uh, include an additional $750,000 in the $6.1 million request for culvert repairs and replacement. I have a question. Are, is that one one of those that we just overlooked? Because we... That particular culvert has a different set of circumstances. Uh, the culverts that Mr. Norton had originally put uh, were metal culverts yeah. that were having uh, corrosion issues in the base. Yeah. This particular culvert has a different set of issues. Now, it is actually a concrete culvert, so structurally it's fine, but unfortunately it is undersized and it's creating flooding and drainage issues. And number two, if you've walked along and you've driven slowly, you'll see that it doesn't have much of a handrail, much of a, a safety, pedestrian safety features. Uh, we've actually had, you know, instances where people have ended up in the creek. So it's, M Mr. Norton initially was looking at the metal culverts, uh, and it was just my, my bad with communication with Mr. Norton. Uh, I thought it was going to be included, and when we got into the details, it wasn't, but... Right. Again, uh, just if we increase the budget by that amount, uh, we, we can handle it. And I just do want to bring to your attention, uh, you'll see um, if everything here tonight is awarded with uh, the addition of the budget increase for this particular culvert, we would still have remaining, uh, Mr. Moody, approximately $1.5 million in the local government, $10 million allocation? Roughly. If we, took, if we added the additional funding to... Um, this public works project, we would take it down to a roughly 1.5 to 1.7 million. And that's for the first tranche, right? That's for the, the total, total award. That will be total. all all monies. Yes. Okay. Okay. I had a motion, and I think I had a second. Okay. Sorry, I have one question. Sure. Um, does that include everything that's in the pipeline at this point? <laughs> Internally, it includes everything in the pipeline, with the exception of an idea that I have developed the last week or two uh, and it have not formally finished uh, the details and it has not been presented to this particular body. Uh, but that would be a program. Obviously, we were denied FEMA requests for private property debris removal. Um, uh, we are trying to develop details on allocating um, money from that remaining $1.5 million that we could go individually to individual properties with some sort of limitation. Again, it's not here in front of this particular body because uh, we, we're not finalized with that particular application, but it is something we're working on and I would like to come back. And it, it would certainly fall within the 1.5 million allocation. Probably would recommend you don't add any more to these items tonight so that we can have a, a pot of money to consider that program in the future. 
it, internally. But they don't affect the 1.5 million. Oh, I got you. Okay. Yeah. I get it. Thank you. Okay, so I have a motion to second. Any other questions on this? Uh, all those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Uh, the next, please, is yep. facilities and maintenance. Yes, this is for a, the second phase of the Wadsworth improvements. Uh, this will include replacing existing carpet in the building. All right. Is there a motion? So yeah. moved. Is there a second? Second. Motion and second. Any discussion on this? All those in favor and by saying aye. 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 Opposed like sign. Motion carried. Thank you. Facilities and maintenance uh, citywide upgrades. Yes. This, this application is for citywide upgrades to the HVAC systems. It will introduce ionization devices and will replace bathroom fixtures with hands-free faucets as well. All right. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. second. Motion is second. Any questions on this one? Discussion? All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Motion carried. The next. This uh, request from the IT department is for a replacement email archiver, and this will aid the IT department in adhering to state retention policies for emails. Is there a motion? So, so moved. Second. Motion is second. We approve as presented. Any discussion? All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Those like sign. Motion carried. And the last, IT. Right. And this will be for a backup server. Uh, this backup server will assist the IT department in combating cyber attacks, such as ransomware. Uh, this uh, system will allow for recovery after a total destruction within less than a week. What? Is, is there a motion? We're moved. Second. Motion second. Any discussion? All those in favor, indicate by saying aye. Aye. Those like sign, motion carried. Thank you. You're still up with external applicants. Thank yes, you. Sir. All right. And the first application before you is from Habitat for Humanity. Uh, the applicant has satisfied all the necessary criteria for an affordable housing project under the ARPA regulations. Uh, the project will take place in a qualified census tract. And the applicant has noted, though, that there is a mistake on the application document, and the application or the applicant is here uh, to attest to the uh, correction if need be. Okay. Is there a motion? So moved. Motion. Second. Motion is second to approve. Any discussion? It, what is the correction? It is a uh, timeline correction. Eric, if you want to come up and speak to that. Good evening, council members. Um, the correction... If you uh, want to identify yourself. For the my record. apologies. My name is Eric Miller. I'm the president and CEO of Noon and Kewita Habitat for Humanity. Thank you, sir. Um, on the timeline in front of you, which I imagine is in front of you, on homes one and two, I incorrectly put that those would be completed in April of 2021. Those were actually completed just a month ago in April 2022. And on line two, homes three and four uh, begin principal construction August 2022, just a few months from now, and to be completed not in February 2022, but February 2023. So those were the corrections. I'm still Thank, Thank you. I do have Thank a motion and a second. Any other questions? All those in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carried. Thank you. The next. Okay. The second application is from the seller. Uh, the applicant has met all the necessary criteria under the small business program. Uh, the applicant has exhibited a substantial decline in gross receipts as a result of the pandemic and operates within a qualified census tract and is therefore uh, eligible to receive the maximum award of 75000 and the applicant is here as well. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Motion second. We approve the request as presented. Any discussion? Questions? All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed like sign. Motion carried. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. The next uh, item on the agenda is a resolution to appoint the uh, 2022 MEAG Power uh, voting delegates. Is there a motion to adopt? So moved. Second. Motion second to adopt the resolution as presented. Any discussion? All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed like sign. Motion carried. Thank you. Uh, just a word. We do have an open seat this year, and there are already three people who have been getting the emails. Put, put their name forward. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Mr. Steve Renfro down in Chris County is retiring. Mr. Mayor, if we can clarify, the actual resolution was uh, written with a blank. I'm sorry? So the, the resolution actually has a blank. It does not state the name of the voting delegates. Well, so you know, I, I, we, I, Yeah, I know I, in the past it's been Councilmember Alexander. For all, I don't these, want to for all these years it's been uh, Mr. Alexander and Mr. Shell. 
Okay. And I would have thought they would have objected if. Okay. okay. I just want to make certain before we put, put okay. their names in. All right. Thank you. I, I, I okay. accept. I, All right. Good. I, I appreciate it. Well, you, there was never an opportunity to decline. <laughs> so we appreciate Excuse you bringing this For seven, 16 years, I've showed up waiting for George not to show up, and he always shows up. <laughs> okay. Uh, we move on. The next is a consideration of contract award to retain a contract for uh, demolishing structures uh, on as as need basis. Stevenson is here this evening. This is fairly straightforward. How are you, sir? Good evening, Mayor Council. I'm fine. How are you? As you mentioned, this is straightforward. It's a demolition contract uh, that was opened up by Council <laughs> uh, previously, and you, you have the numbers before you. And we are we would like to order award it to uh, complete demolition services there. All right. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Motion is second. Uh, we award complete demolition services contract for demolition. Any discussion? All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Motion carried. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Um, the next is a consideration of a design proposal agreement for Wadsworth parking lot improvement project. And I do notice that I have two people on the sign-in sheet for item H, which is what this is, uh, Mr. Bailey and uh, Ms. Ireland. Uh, yeah. Yes, we, did you intend to speak to this issue of the parking lot at Wadsworth? Uh, no, uh, we were at 5 Smith Street where Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. I just wanted to clear that up. I, I thought this was, might have been a, <laughs> an odd citizen input item. So, Ms. Moley, Mosley, how are you? I'm doing good, Mayor Council. How are you? Good. Good. Thanks. You have this before you. Are you, we have any questions of Ms. Mosley, what we're doing here and how we're doing it? Okay, is there a motion? So moved. Second. Motion and a second to approve the design agreement is presented. Any discussion? All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed, like the sign. Thank you. All right, thank you. Okay, under unfinished business, uh, consideration of uh, resolution to abandon unimproved public right of way on Highland Avenue. Um, and we do have a couple of folks who signed in that said they wanted to speak to this issue too. Mr. Yes, Smith, how are you, sir? I'm well. Yourself? Good. Uh, just as a brief introduction, then I'll allow the uh, signer and the petitioner to speak. Uh, this was first brought to your attention in January. Mr. Kirk Avery, who owns property north of the subject unimproved right-of-way track, seeking a petition to abandon this right-of-way to add to his property so he, in turn, can have enough street frontage to build, I think, three homes. Uh, single family detached. Uh, in the course of doing research, uh, we did uncover there may be an objection from the South property owner. Uh, Mr. Sears got involved. We've done some additional research to find out at one point Highland Avenue was abandoned in the past. Half of it went to the Free and Masons Lodge, half of it went to the Housing Authority. There is this one 4,499 square foot tract that still remains technically our right of way. Uh, that's where we are right now. You have two resolutions Mr. Sears has prepared. Mr. Sears has also informed both property owners of the potential action council may initiate this evening. One resolution seeks to divide this right away and deed over half to one property owner and half to another property owner. The second resolution is to simply give all the 4,499 square feet to one property owner. And I'll conclude my remarks and allow the petitioner to come forward or anyone else you may wish to question. All right. Thank you, Mr. Smith. Any questions of Mr. Smith before he walks? All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And uh, Mr. and Ms. Woodruff, I, would, if you'll, I know I called your name, but if you'll state your name for the record, you, please. Uh, good evening, uh, Mr. Mayor and Council members. Um, my name is David Woodruff. I'm here on behalf of um, Coweta 60. Um, at um, 56 Sewell Road. Um, if I may, um, I'd like to make a request for my wife to do the speaking of a medical condition here that's rather embarrassing uh, to be in front of a uh, crowd of people. So if, if everyone's okay with it, I would, I would ask that she could. No problem. Th thank you. If you'll just introduce yourself for the record, please. Hi, my name is uh, Crystal Woodruff and um, 
as my husband stated, um, I'm speaking on behalf of him and the Coweta Lodge 60. Um, it was brought up, um, the gentleman in question did um, reach out to uh, the lodge members, and the lodge members um, are opposed to having um, that type of development right there at that property. We have to understand we're talking about a lodge that has stood there with the surrounding property for decade after decade after decade. Um, there is some confusion on because of the fact that over the years parcels of land that were abandoned were absorbed into the lodge's um, property line and the members of the lodge have always taken care of it. Um, so there's confusion right now with the lodge members as to where their property line actually is. Because, again, I will state, you guys know where Coweta Lodge 60 is. It's an icon that's sat there. Everybody knows where Coweta Lodge 60 is. Um, but as the years have gone by, the actual property lines have been blurred. Um, so we were requesting that uh, you show us a plat on what you think the property line is and then allow us to have, um, allow uh, Coweta Lodge to have um, the property surveyed um, to, you know, uh, uh, put this on hold and, and let's let the lodge have the property surveyed because you're talking about property that the members of the Coweta Lodge generation, generation, decade after decade after decade has taken care of the parcels of land. Um, so we would ask for a stay first um, so that we can have the time um, to get the actual um, entire property as it is surveyed. Um, I do have a surveyor on hand that we could get out there very quickly. Um, and then let's revisit uh, this issue after the property lines have been clearly defined because they are no longer the same as the plat that is in the lodge that's been there since the 60s. Well, Ms. So. Woodruff, I, I certainly don't have a problem with continuing the issue until we have a clear definition of where the property line is. But what you what you have mentioned here tonight is the law, lodge having that done. Uh, surveyors aren't uh, aren't free, so I'm not sure that the lodge agrees with having to pay for that survey. So I, I think we have uh, the lodge does agree to pay for the survey because I um, am we? sponsoring that. Okay, we have a Mr. Avery here this evening, don't we? And you're an associate. You are you associated with the lodge? I'm not. You're I'm not. The, I'm the one to the north side. Okay. All right. Um, well, as long as you've lined up who's going to pay for the survey, then then that's not an issue. Then that's mm -hmm. that's fine. Council comments. Uh, so. Is my understanding the lodge is potentially interested in acquiring this property as well? We, as the lodge, we don't want anything built next to the lodge. It's been that way, and I opposed it with Mr. Smith. I, I sent an email saying we're not interested in this whatsoever. And the way this is written, we don't get a choice in this. It's either we're going to agree to it, or the city's, <clears throat> or the city's just going to take the right of way and give it to Mr. Uh, Avery anyway. So I mean, we, that's that's how we're left feeling about this. So ultimately, if the city were to abandon this property, the lodge would potentially be interested in acquiring this so that nothing would be built on it. Yes. Is that what I'm understanding? Yes. No, mm -hmm. that's not. Can Mr. Sears. Yeah. Let me just yeah. real quick well go done. over. You you've got in your folder um, all of the things and the and the right way has been surveyed so if they want to get a survey or Gaskins has surveyed it it's in your thing where it's surveyed uh, 
half to go to the lodge and half to go to Mr. Avery uh, for those lots. So well, they've surveyed the right away, but I don't see a survey in here of the uh, that, that's our actual question. lodge We're, itself. And well, that's where the, the, the survey. Well, and is, on they, top of that, there's a difference between a survey on a piece of paper and marking the property lines right. on yes. the dirt. Yes, sir. And that's what. So is, I don't know if that, that, but that's that's what you're saying. Well, that's, if you, is, is, has, have they actually marked the property line? On no. the, okay, so that's that's what's got to happen no. in order for you to know where that is. That. That's right. right. No. But the survey of the lodge property, there is a survey of the lodge property, and that was done uh, when actually the city of Newnan owned it. Because well, the city of Newnan owned that track and actually sold it, uh, abandoned the track and sold it to the lodge when the lodge was constructed. <laughs> At the same time, in 1965, and you've got a copy of the resolution there, the back part of uh, that roadway was abandoned in that resolution, half to go to the housing authority when the, the, uh, those uh, homes were built there, and the other half to go to the lodge. Now, I don't know why the other piece that ran back up to the boulevard was not abandoned at the same time. I can only think that the person that owned the three lots that Mr. Avery has now just didn't participate, so the city never abandoned that part. And so Gaskins has done a survey. Now, I'd have to defer to Mr. Avery if he actually went out and marked the points. It appears that he found some pins if you look at, at what's what's on the survey, but that's the way it is. Now, you know, to the extent that the question, you know, the, the property can be built on as it is uh, with three small houses because there are three lots of records. Without the abandonment. Without the abandonment. What the abandonment will do will allow for larger lots and, and therefore larger houses to be put on it is the way I understand why the request is. Now, Mr. Avery had requested all of it. We told him that under the law it had to be offered to both adjoining property owners, and that's why you've got two resolutions, you know, in this. So it's up to council to determine whether to abandon it, period. But to the extent that, as the 1965 resolution states, and the resolution I've done is the city has, no intention to improve the roadway. So that that's then the you know, definition of an abandonment. So the, a couple of yes or no yes. questions. The, the city uh, has already abandoned most of it and this, this, on, this is only one portion of it that we have not abandoned. And then the second question is, uh, if the lodge turns down their half of it, the city is able to give that to the other, to the applicant. Correct. Okay. Thank you. May, may I ask, um, on these, these plats, there's nowhere that we understand in the lodge where this abandoned roadbed is. Could, could that be explained to me so I can report it back to the it lodge? Can, it can, it can I'll, be, I, it, I'll be happy to meet uh, you, uh, Joe. Right. It, and, it was included in the letter that we sent. It may have been included in the letter, but it was not marked properly as a survey would be done with stakes and markings on the ground. Okay. That's why I'm asking that this have right. a stay until the um, survey can be done for a, a new survey with this land that has, you know, right. been partially absorbed over the decades right. so that the lodge has a very clear understanding where their property line is anyway. Um, and then after that is done, um, the, the members of the lodge will have a better understanding of where the abandoned road is. I'm just simply asking for a stay so we could get okay. us a proper survey right. done. I understand. Um, so I'm asking for a motion to continue this item, so not second, <laughs> not, not to a date certain, but until 
the issue is resolved with th that includes the knowledge that we need to make a decision. It may not be at our June meeting. It may be in the July meeting. We only have one meeting in June, one meeting in July. So just whatever they get to the point where they've got the information where we can make a decision, it'll come back on our agenda. But we don't know what that date is. So is that a motion? Yes, it is. Okay. And a second. Second. Motion, second. Any discussion? All those in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Thank you. Thank you for being Thank here this evening. Thank you very much. We appreciate you being here. Okay. Uh, the next item uh, for is a uh, 178 LaGrange Street, the owner uh, update and a request for extension. Mr. Murray, how are you, sir? Doing well, Mr. Mayor and Council. Um, yeah, this is a, a, um, an update. Uh, just as a reminder, 178 LaGrange Street was before you in April. Uh, as a continuance of a public hearing and at that point uh, they were granted a 45-day extension the, the property was under contract at that time and uh, but there were some probate issues that have been resolved uh, since since our last meeting in the in April and there is a closing uh, set for Thursday the 26th at 11 a.m. for the uh, for a new owner to take uh, take over this property uh, he is wanting a 45-day extension. Uh, his name is Mr. Wes Hauser. He has a number of properties here in, well, in the county and all over the state um, in other parts of the country, but he's requesting a 45-day extension. He said he can clear the lot and demo the, uh, the house. He does want to rebuild, but as I told him, if he demos the property within 45 days, he'll be with, you know, compliant with the resolution and with the code. So. That's what he's asking. <clears throat> okay, so um, is Mr. Hauser in attendance this evening? He is out of state. He's, okay. He was not able to. A um, couple of questions, and council may have some too. Uh, I know he's told you that he wants mm -hmm. to demo the property, but how do we know that he will do that in 49 days? Do we have any? In and other than his word, we don't. I mean, okay. um, well, that's, that's, if he doesn't, then we would move forward with a resolution. Okay, well then I, I would like to um, shorten that 45 days to 15 days because I don't want our citizens to have to look at this for another 45 days or 30 days or whatever we think is appropriate. But, I mean, he hasn't actually closed on the property yet. It's, it's yes, there's a, that's true. There's a closing date set for uh, Thursday. So 11. what happens if he doesn't close on the property on Thursday? If you're talking about from the day he closes, no, I'm see. talking about yeah, the re the resolution deadline was actually the 30th of May. 30th of of May, May. May. Okay. and he's requesting an additional 45 days to give him time to demolish to demolish the the house. So if he closes, through. right? That's so halfway through July, correct. And again, so if he doesn't close, the the resolution is up the 30th of May. Yes, yeah. that's correct, and, I, and that's what I've informed him. You so could, you could condition the motion on, you know, the extension beyond May 30th to X days, whatever you would like to put in there, conditionally. provided it closes on that day. If not, it's up to 30th. I mean, if, if, if he closes, we give him extension. But if he doesn't close, then the 30th of May, it's over. Correct. Then it'd be up to the building department to schedule whatever goes on. Well, we, we had a... Um, We've hired somebody now to start tearing houses down, so we can do it. <laughs> so uh, I'd like to see us give him 30 days instead of 45. Is there a motion? I'll so, make that motion. Second. Motion is second. Uh, we, okay, I have a motion uh, second. Question. 30 days from discussion. May 26. Uh, or May 30th. From May, May 30th. May 30th was the end of the okay, May this 30th. extension. Right. That's my motion. All right. Okay, so my question. Is going to allow for him to finish this. Well, he, he was confident that he could have that done in 45 days. He could have the house. Right, but the resolution that we're talking about is for 30. Oh, he's saying he wants to demolish it. Yeah, I know. But I'm just saying that. Does he actually have the ability to follow does through? Does he have the ability to follow through? Based on logistics, yeah. Well, we don't you know, know, but come June 30th, if down. it's not down, we're going to take it down. Mr. L Mr. But Lee. Then we'll lean it and then we'll have them have right. it to pay. To do yeah. that when, if, if they don't do it, right. we do it. We charge it to the lot. But that's that's after thirty days. 
because um, if they actually close on the 26th, then they'll get their 30 extra days after the 30th. Yeah, they go to That's June 30th. Right. Goes to June 30th. Okay. So there's a motion to second. Question, town here? Uh, let's see. 30 days after the 30th of May is 29th. the 29th. 29th. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay. Well, it just doesn't matter if it's ever. All right, any other questions, comment on this? All those in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, light sign. Nay. Thank you. All right, uh, st motion still carry. Uh, six one. Okay, uh, item K then, public hearing on 5 Smith Street, resolution repair and demolish. Yes, sir. Uh, this this property and the, and the following, the, well, these next seven agenda items are the bulk of what was left of the uh, the red tag or the uninhabitable list that was uh, that was put together by the building department uh, shortly after the storm. Uh, we've worked through just about all of those. I don't anticipate another large group of properties coming before you. Uh, there are going to be a couple more that likely will come before you, but I don't anticipate a large group uh, or number of properties coming uh, from here on out. Uh, all of these properties uh, are, we feel, are uh, greater than 50% uh, of value to, uh, to repair uh, versus assessed value. Uh, the first property is 5 Smith Street. Uh, uh, this house was damaged in the storm. It has significant roof damage. The front porch is, um, is collapsed. Uh, the house, with the day I was there, was unsecured, and I was pretty much open to the elements. Uh, the, the lot was overgrown, but it has been cut in the last week, uh, and I think we're asking 45 days. Uh, I believe the uh, – I have had some communication with the grandson of the, of the property, and he's here tonight wanting to speak. Uh, as to what their plans, where, where the pl uh, things are presently and where they want to go with the property. Okay, this is a public hearing on this issue of uh, 5 Smith Street. I believe earlier I uh, mentioned Mr. Bailey. Yeah, if you, this, is, this is that item, item K, and uh, Marie Ireland. Uh, Mr. Bailey, how are you this evening? Hey, I'm doing great. Yes, I'm Good. Brian Bailey. My grandmother is an heir to the decedent. And um, right now we're going through the probate process just trying to advertise in the paper, so about maybe 45, 60 days on getting that complete so we can convey the property to a buyer who wants to uh, repair the home. Your intention is to repair the home? That's correct. Have you had estimates on that? Uh, not complete yet. Okay, so during that 45-day period, will you be able to do that? Uh, absolutely. Um, our plan is to convey the property to a buyer who intended to repair the home as soon as we do uh, sell the property to them. Okay. Um, okay, so this is a public hearing on this issue. Is there anyone else here who would like to come forward to speak to 5 Smith Street? Close the public hearing on 5 Smith Street at this time and uh, ask if there are any questions from council. I do. So what are you asking for? You're asking for 60 days? Is that what you're asking for? Uh, yeah, 60 days so that we can get the probate process complete um, once my grandmother does have a uh, the power to sell the property, we convey to a buyer he's already looking to renovate the home. So then the buyer would have to come back to us for an extension. Right. Do you have a buyer identified? Um, I have about two. Um, they're not here today. Okay. I'm a licensed agent here in Georgia, um, so I've been talking with those buyers pretty close. Okay. We so uh, were talking 60 days. To give him time to, to resolve the estate issue. Well, the, the, that's right. That's the probate. Uh, right. Yeah, sure. But what if so. then we're, I mean, he's got that legal issue. We're going to have to work through that. I understand that, but I'm saying, but if he doesn't, if he doesn't get it probated and sold, what happens in 60 days? Then he, he comes, he comes back, back to us. Okay. Yeah. So I'll make that motion for 60 days. Okay. Uh, second. Motion second, 60 day repair demolish uh, resolution on 5 Smith Street. Any other questions? All those in favor of Kate, saying aye. 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 Those aye. like sign. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it. The next is a public hearing that I'm open at this time on 21 Johnson Avenue. Okay. Uh, Mr. Murray? Yes, uh, yes, Mr. Murray. The, these next two properties um, have been approved for funding by the uh, Coweta Community Foundation and their long-term uh, recovery group. And Mr. Uh, Rich DeWeese is here 
uh, tonight to address y'all about exactly what the plans are. I know 66 Robinson has been funded for demolition and it should be down hopefully this week. And then the 21 Johnston is uh, scheduled for repairs, but I think Mr. DeWeese uh, can address that further. How are you, sir? Very well. Good evening, Mr. Mayor and Council. Um, both of these properties, 21 Johnson, do you, do you want me to do them together? Uh, or separately. separately. Okay. We're, we're, so we're, we're talking about public hearings on 21. 20, 21 Johnson. Um, the homeowner is, uh, does have a case open with long-term recovery. Uh, he has done everything that, uh, that he needs to do in our process. It's a complex um, situation. <coughs> so where, where we are sitting currently is we're waiting on bids to come in for the repairs. Um, just to be completely uh, transparent in our process, uh, the city had a, a report put together on what needed to be done. Um, and our, uh, our construction manager estimation to complete that work was $115,000. Um, that's more than, that's more than double anything that, that we've been able to allocate to, uh, to a project in our process uh, with the limitations that we have on funding. Um, it is, it's everybody's desire to help this family in every way that we can. Uh, but we're in the process of waiting on that, uh, those bids to come in. Uh, the other option that we are looking at is uh, to offer the assistance of demolition for this family on that home. But that doesn't address their, their future housing um, so th that's the situation. Uh, so I don't know exactly how uh, you all want to handle time. We need time in our in our pipeline. Sixty days. Uh, Sixty six days would be good. Certainly would would uh, have those bids back and and be able to be in contact with right. with uh, Mr. Murray and right. see where we go. Sure. Is there anyone else here who would like to speak to the issue of Twenty One Johnson Avenue? If you'll come forward and state your name for the record, please. Yes, my name is Ryan Smith. I'm the grandson, and I'm real, pr pretty much the owner. And I have did my bids. Um, I just got the information this week. I had one guy come out today, and he said he should have the bid back next week. And I have one that should be here Thursday. Okay. All right. Thank you. We appreciate you being here. All right, thank you. Okay, I'm going to close the public hearing at this time on uh, 21 Johnson Avenue and ask the council for a motion. Make a motion for, he wanted 60, 60 days. 60 days. 60. Make a motion for 60 days. Second. Second. Motion is second. We adopt a resolution for 60 days on 21 Johnson Avenue. Any discussion? All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Motion carried. Thank you. You're up on the next one, 66 Robinson. I'm going to open a public hearing at this time on 66 Robinson Street, repair and demolish. So I understand Mr. Murray said you intended to demolish. Yes, we, we, uh, we have a uh, Cranford construction. It has been secured to do that demolition. Uh, it was supposed to have already been done. There was some miscommunication in terms of uh, getting the utilities unhooked. Sure. I, I believe that is done. Um, and so uh, provided uh, he's going to, to check that tomorrow morning, and if everything is good, they're uh, scheduled to start on Thursday. 30 days? So I uh, so certainly can report back, yes. Right. Okay. Is anyone here, else here who would like to speak to the issue of 66 Robinson Street? This is a public hearing. Seeing no one come forward, I'm going to close the public hearing and ask for a motion on the issue. Make a motion that we uh, give them 30 days. Second. second. Motion is second. Any discussion? All those in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carried. Thank you. We appreciate Thank you being here and appreciate your hard work. Public hearing on 22 Smith Street, repair or demolish uh, resolution. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, this property, uh, severe storm damage, and um, the, the owner of this property, Mr. Zhao, I believe, uh, here, and uh, he, he's done a very good job of staying in touch with, with me as to what was going on with this property. He was having issues with uh, settling in with his insurance company, but he has resolve those issues and over the last few weeks he's the house is completely transformed he's um, uh, repaired all the uh, exterior damage the uh, 
the framing, he's reframed the, and uh, put on a roof. He's uh, put all the doors and windows, uh, repaired all the, the siding, and the exterior looks very good. Um, he did want to address you about uh, some time that he would need to uh, finish all the uh, trim work and the, uh, the finish work on the interior. He has started that. Uh, but uh, he did want to uh, update you on where he stands and, and some time that he was needing to finish the project. He's here this evening? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you'll come forward and state your name for the record, please. Thank you. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, my name is uh, Zhang Ni. Um, you know, uh, we, were, we were here pretty hard last year. Um, my personal home, you know, had some roof damage. Uh, I'm sorry, I got a little emotional. So right, take, uh, take your time. We had uh, four property that were affected. And um, insurance was a nightmare to deal with. But uh, we finally got it done. Um, and um, on, on this one, uh, you know, it was difficulty uh, finding contractors, but uh, our contractor is uh, here tonight, okay. and, and, he, and he did a good job uh, getting the exterior finished, but our budget is uh, kind of, you know, getting close, so um, I'll probably be doing some more, some more work myself, getting the inside finish. Um, I don't know what's appropriate to ask, either 90 days or 180 days for me to finish the inside. Uh, because as you can see, you know, outside it's pretty much finished. Would, would your contractor have any input on that timeline? If you'll come forward and state your name, please. Uh, Ken Horn, Moose Run, LLC. Uh, so the uh, we got a permit, but the electrical the mechanicals are going in right now. Uh, my electrician's a little late. Uh, he'll be he'll be doing Friday. Uh, plumbing's done for the rough. Uh, the HVAC is done for the rough. So we got the electrical left, and then we'll get the inside and insulation. So sixty to ninety days is probably where we're at because uh, okay. I've got to get the other contractors in. Sure. For insulation and all that. So. Sure. Is anyone else here who would like to speak to the issue of 22 Smith Street? Okay, I'm going to close the public hearing at this time, Ms. Jenkins. Does this project at this point, where they are, even fall under our resolution? That's a good question. Yeah, it's 50%. Right now they've gotten very Past 50%. Yeah. So. Well, it's that's true. Enough, you know, that would be. So it's not, it's not habitable. It's not, uh, you know, the. Do you believe it's the 50% rule applies here? Uh, no, probably not. Okay, let's move on to the next item on our agenda. We appreciate you preparing the house, and good luck on that. Thank uh, you so much. Thank you. Sir. Okay, the next item on the agenda is a public hearing on 157 LaGrange Street. Just, just to perfect the record, since it was scheduled for public hearing, a motion to not order uh, adoption of a resolution. I'll make that motion. Second. Second. And that's on 22 Smith Street. Uh, any discussion? All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed like sign. Thank you, Mr. Sears. Mm -hmm. The next item on the agenda, public hearing 157 uh, LaGrange. Uh, yes, sir. Again, uh, storm damage property, uh, extensive roof damage, a large hole in the roof, um, front porch damage, some windows broken out, etc. cetera. And, uh, I, we have had some communication with the um, – the owners, uh, they were, again, having settlement issues with their insurance companies, but they say that they, once they settled, they were going to uh, they have a contract to, um, to sell the property, and the new owner was going to demolish it and rebuild, but uh, nothing has really happened uh, in that regard. And I've, I haven't had a lot of communication with them in the last couple of months, so I don't know if they're here tonight uh, to address it, but uh, there's not a lot happening right now with this one. So. This is a public hearing on 157 LaGrange Street. Are the owners in attendance? Is there a representative of the owners in attendance? Okay, thank you. 
All right. I'll close the public hearing at this time and ask for a uh, resolution to repair or demolish 45 days. So moved. How old is this home? Uh, Probably 1900. 1890, 1900. I can, I've got it here if you give me a minute to go through my files. Nineteen ten. And it does. You did answer in the report that the fifty percent rule does apply on this one. Yeah, in my yes, in the billing department's opinion, it does. Yes. The forty-five days gets their attention, makes them move forward. But they said we, they were going to sell it and tear it down. They can certainly like come back and fair. ask for more yeah. if they will start moving forward. That's what we're trying to do. You know, is, are the owners local? They are. To, I believe they've moved to Peachtree City, is my understanding, but uh, or at least that's the last I heard. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Motion is second. 45 days. Resolution on 157 LaGrange Street. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carried. Thank you. The next is a public hearing on 25 uh, Pinson Street. Yes, sir. Again, in a uh, severely damaged property, uh, very extensive damage on this one. This property, uh, the previous owner was going to tear it down. Um, he had the property tested and uh, it came back with some asbestos. And so he kind of stopped everything and um, was trying to get some additional bids to, uh, for the abatement on the asbestos. Uh, but since then, he decided to sell it. And uh, I did have some communication with the new owner. And I told him he was going to have a limited time to do something with it. And uh, I asked him to be here tonight. I don't know if he is. I don't think he was able to come. But Oh, you are? I represent him, yeah. Oh, you represent uh, Kieran? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, there, we do have a representative from that property here. So. If you'll come forward, state your name, please. Yeah. I'm Ron Arnold. I represent SK for this evening. Appreciate you uh, being here. Thank you. Basically, they purchased the property, and now we just want to, we got to put a roof on it. We know the roof is destroyed, and we want to put a roof on it, and we want to restore it. We bought other properties here, which we have restored, and we work with Section 8 housing and stuff like that. So we're, we clean the yard and all up, but we just want your permission to go ahead and rebuild this thing. Okay, have you, uh, so you're a contractor. I work so, for them, yeah. Okay. Um, Who, can I ask a question? Who is the owner now? SKA services and property property services. They're well, in Swanee. That's who we have in our agenda. Yeah. SKA Realty Services mm -hmm. LLC. The gentleman's Karen Arthur is the gentleman. Yeah. Karan. Yeah. Okay. He's the one I've communicated with. Um, okay. So yeah, that's uh, next question. How many days do you think you're going to need to do that? Well, first thing we'll have to do is get our permits and pull the, get the roof put on and. It's, yeah, right. so it's probably going to take at least probably 90 days to restore that thing. Because that's what I, I basically what right. I do. I supervise the restorations. We've had about 15 houses in Newton that we've restored already. We just finished two up. We're getting occupied this weekend, and we're working on three more. So the first thing we do is get the roofers over there and start and get the roof on it. Right. So. Well, is there anyone else who would, here who would like to speak to the issue of 25 Pinson Street? Seeing no one come forward, I'm going to close the public hearing at this time, and you, you, you're you requesting a 90-day? That'd be fine, sir. Okay. I'll make that motion. motion. Second. Days. Motion is second for a 90-day re resolution, repair or demolish. Any, discu any discussion at all? All those in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, like to sign. Motion carried. Thank you for being here. Thank you, sir. We appreciate, we appreciate it. very Thank much. You. Uh, this next item is public hearing five Mink Hollow Court repair or demolish. I'm opening public hearing at this time on Mink five Mink Hollow Court. Yes, sir. Um, uh, this property we've had no communication with the owner. Um, uh, they've not reached out, uh, not pulled permits. Uh, it's severely damaged, and um, and we have not been able to ascertain what the owner plans to do with it. And uh, 
it's just there's no there's no progress nothing being nothing being done with this one no, nothing's been done to the property since the storm it's the roof is completely collapsed it's been exposed okay since the storm so this is a public hearing did someone come tonight to speak to the issue of five mink holly courts seeing no one move forward i'm going to close the public hearing at this time and ask for 45 day repaired model i make that motion second Motion second for a 45 day repair and demolish on five mink hollow court. Any discussion? I have a One. Question. Yes. Um, uh, was this owner occupied at some point or was this tenant occupied or do you know? I don't know for certain, but it's a duplex. I'm, I'm, I'm a, the owner's name is listed at that address. Uh, so I don't know if he lived is that in one. Where we're sending the mail? Uh, what's that? Is that where we're sending the mail? Yes. Well, most of these people that are had are having their mail forwarded that that have been gone. They've been gone from you know since the storm. So most of those folks were having their mail forwarded. That's the only address we we had for them. All right. Any other questions? All those in favor, of get by saying aye. Aye. Those like sign. Motion carried. Thank you. We appreciate it. All right. Thank you. The next item uh, is a public hearing. This is an annexation request. Uh, this request has, they have the, uh, the applicant has uh, asked for us to continue uh, this uh, public hearing until our June 14th, 630 meeting. Ms. Griffiths is here. Mr. Cole, how are you? Fine, thank you. Um, did I say that right? You did. Okay, good. I won't have to back up. Uh, then what I would like to do then, because I have opened the public hearing, instead of hearing anything from Mr. Cole or the Planning Commission tonight, I would like to uh, have that done at the continuation at that time so it's all fresh instead of hearing it tonight and then maybe having to rehash it at that time. So uh, if there is a motion to continue this public hearing until June the 14th at 6.30. So moved. Second. Motion second. Discussion? All those in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Thank you. Uh, the next under visitors request for bridging the gap to use C.J. Smith Park for summer lunch June the 6th through August the 5th uh, from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m and to place yard signs at Farmer Street and Glen Street to advertise. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Motion second. We approve the request. Any discussion? I have a question. Yes, question. We don't reserve anything in C.J. Smith Park, do we? Correct, we don't. So they could just use it, right? They could, what they'd like to do is um, take a few parking spaces. They, they, okay. They'd like to use a few parking spaces okay. to set up a distribution okay. center. Okay, that makes sense. Yes, sir. Right. Okay, so I have a motion and a second. And any other questions? All those in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Thank you. The next is a request from First Baptist Church to close Brown Street between West Washington Street and Madison Street during Vacation Bible School the week of June the 13th through the 17th from 8 a.m. until 12.30 p.m. Is there a motion? I'll make that motion. Second. Motion to second. We grant the request as presented. Any discussion? All those in favor and you kept saying aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carried. That ends our regular agenda. We have no reason for an executive session. Does anyone come in tonight off agenda that something we haven't already discussed um, that needs to come up? I thought you were, I'm sorry, but I thought you were here with the issue of the abandonment. What's your, I, 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 excuse my voice. If you'll come up to the podium, please. I'm, or you're Mr. Avery. I'm Mr. Avery. I never got a chance to speak in my behalf. Well, it, the issue has not been decided, so uh, you'll need to come back when, when that survey, it'll be on our agenda in the future when you will have an opportunity to speak. Uh, but we have not, some of the parties involved in this application for, an, for the abandonment of the property need to know on the ground where the property line is. Right. And that's what the surveyor is going to do is go out there and put stakes on the ground to, to identify the actual property lines. Right. May I speak in my behalf? May I say something? Pardon me? Go ahead. May, I, may I go forward and say a couple things about that? Uh, yes, sir, you can. Just, but, just for the record, it, just so to help the process along. Because, And again, excuse me, my voice. Sure. 
The process has been going on for a year. So it's been dragging on and we've given the Masons enough chance to respond, but they never responded to Mr. Smith. The property was marked. I never got a chance to say it today, but I, I spent $6,500 with Gaskin surveying and the property has been marked. It's been marked for six months now. We've given, I've, Mr. Sears has known and helped me through the process too. I've let everybody know. We've supplied the survey to the Masons. I've marked the property. I've done everything in my behalf. And they just, they are not responding. He said tonight that they don't have any intentions of wanting the property. So they want to know where it's at. They just need to go out in their backyard and look. Mr. He Mr. Avery, hearing what you have to say, then this, this item you can put on your calendar will be on our agenda on uh, June the 12th or 14th, 14th. June the 14th at 630. If you'll come back here on June the 14th at 630, this item will reappear on our agenda. <clears throat> and you'll have an opportunity at that, at that meeting also to speak on your behalf, and we'll make a decision at that time. Okay, Mr. Sears, you were going to speak to them. If you could let them know that the survey's done for them so that they don't spend unnecessary money. I think you were going to speak to, weren't you? weren't you going to speak to them? I, I thought you mentioned that you were going to be speaking to them, but I did. I'd like to help them along. I don't want to see them spend unnecessary money that I've already spent the $6,500 with the survey. Right. Well, okay. I, I can't I'm just trying to be helpful. spending money on a survey, but it'll be on our next agenda. Now that you've told us that it's marked on the ground. It's marked on the ground. Has been for six months. Okay. We appreciate that very much. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else from anyone else who is here tonight? Council members have anything? Anyone? I, I um, you know, we, we're going through the necessary process of trying to make sure that we have people move along in the process to repair or demolish their homes. Um, that last home I asked the question whether or not we had um, you know, the forwarding address for these folks has been over a year. I don't know how long the post office forwards. We haven't sent certified to make sure they've gotten it. Um, and, you know, I, I just want us to take the extra care for these um, where there was no representative coming to make sure that we send something certified or something to make sure that we can get to these people. I would hate for someone to not be getting our mail or something as important. I would think one way to try to accomplish that, if you don't mind me making Go a ahead. suggestion, is either through the Coweta County Tax Assessor's Office, if they have a forward and address that they may have given them rather than us. I mean, a tax bill was sent out on this property, so have the taxes been paid? That's, the, that's one way to look at that and see if, if that connection was made. And then the other way is simply to look up and see if there's a lien on the property through a mortgage company. And certainly they have given a forwarding address to them, uh, I would hope, uh, right. after they we'll, left. We'll, we'll so if you could use those two first, yeah. avenues to try to reach out to someone, I would appreciate that. No doubt. I mean, I, is there yeah. another way you think? No, I just wanted uh, to make more of an effort than we have. Sure. Just try to I agree. Sure. I, I, I agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's it's I agree. Okay, council. Anyone else have anything? I just want to say that uh, this past week, up a couple of weeks, has been uh, you know public service, public safety uh, appreciation. So I appreciate all that the staff does, all the police department, the fire department. Y'all, we had a special call meeting earlier. I appreciate what y'all do. Uh, thank you for the effort you time you, and time and effort you put into um, making our city a great place to live. Um, and for all the hard work, and I know oftentimes it is longer than eight-hour days um, that you put into it. So thank you. Is there, thank you for your comment. Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Motion to second to adjourn. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, white sign.